we only have so much time, you know? People forget that. I sometimes forget that. But keeping that in the forefront has really helped direct my life in a better direction. Just constantly reminding myself that I'm gonna die one day, you know? And that could be any day. You know, and that's the truth. Like any day you wake up, it could be your last day on earth. And I always think about that. I, you know, I think about when people die, all the days after they died, all the good days that I had, you know, like they died and everyone just went on, you know, there was, of course there was bad days too, but mostly good days, you know, if you tend to look on the brighter side of things. And I just think about all that, all those moments that are just so, were so crucial, you know, and I really feel like, you know, you know, being depressed and also being anxious is just not understanding time. Like really, and all the, in the grand scheme of things, like just not understanding how time can work for you. You know, when you're depressed, you're like, you know, you're maybe, you feel like time is moving slower. You know, when you're anxious, you feel like time is moving faster. You know, it's like, just understanding that time is really not in your control, but you can control your actions on a daily basis. A lot of people, they live under this impression that like, you're fucking born this way, you're born that way, but that's just not true. You know, of course we, we can be born with certain things, you know, that we possess, but at the end of the day, you know, you can really cultivate any trait and make it a part of who you are if you really want to. And once I learned that, it really felt liberating, but also made me feel a little bit of regret because it made me feel like, damn, this was like just in my control the whole time. I didn't even know that. I thought, I really thought, you know, and you know, that, that juvenile brain framework always goes back to, you know, the silly, you know, that silly way of thinking, but yeah. Now at 27, I'm realizing a little more about how time has played a part in my life, um, the importance of it, and taking it seriously, taking the time that I have seriously. Like right now, I really feel like just pouring myself out into this video is probably a good use of my time. You know, it probably is, right? Like if my intention with this video is to help someone's mindset improve, help someone get on a better path with their fitness, maybe, maybe motivate them and inspire them to start a business of their own, um, then that's great. Then my job here is well over, you know, done for sure. That's what I'm trying to do. So, and I feel like that's my purpose. My purpose is I really truly feel like the longer that I do this, you know, I'm on social media, building this biz, building these businesses, you know, my coaching business, my clothing business, the more that I do it, uh, the more aligned I feel like I am on this path. I mean, you know, this is what I've always wanted to do in the grand scheme of things, but when it aligns and when it works, it feels very good, you know? Um, so just understanding the way time works in your life is just super crucial. And the, the number one thing, man, the number one thing is just remembering that you just don't have a lot of, you just don't have as much time as you think. And if I could stress one point in this video, in this video, honestly, it's just that, dude, you gotta take that shit seriously, you know? You gotta enjoy the little moments. You gotta work really hard at your thing, you know, find your purpose. It doesn't have to be all clear cut, but if you find certain things that light you up, that excite you, do those things, you know? And I don't mean fucking drugs. I don't mean anything fucking immoral or fucking, you know, unethical. I mean something that really fulfills you, like maybe giving back to others, you know, or creating a business or spending time with, you know, your loved ones. You know, when you're when you're when you're in those moments, cherish them. Take part in your own story, you know? This is the story that you're writing. No one else is writing this story for you. You have to make sure that every chapter is, you know, every chapter is a fucking win, you know? Every chapter you want it to be like, of course there was problems just like anybody else's life, right? There's problems in everyone's life but you want that story to read and to have that tone of 
someone who overcame struggle and someone who made it through something. That's really what people want to see. And that's what people hide is the fucking low points is the when they're really nothing. That's how I built my whole fucking brand. I've been on social media for fucking literally 10 years. A lot of people don't even know that. I've been on I've been on Instagram like every almost every single fucking day for 10 years trying to grow my brand. I'm telling you, if I knew what I know now back then, I would have been way farther. That's why I'm making these videos so you guys can learn what took me so long to learn. So you don't have to learn it. You know, I can just tell you what to do. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching this video.